guys, it's Just Keys. I'm back with a new video. It's been about four months, but I'm finally back and I'm here to stay. I will be pushing out more videos more often. I have better lighting now, um, so my video should be better. You know, the quality should be much better now. Uh, when I'm doing my tutorials, you're able to see the color pay off much better, um, whether it's on my face or me showing it to you, what have you. As you can see, I have red hair now, uh, burgundy or born. Whatever color you want to call it, but I have different color hair. I have a nose ring now. Yeah, true. Um, but I have a new puppy. You'll see a clip of her um, in the video. Yeah, and basically nothing has changed. Um, I'm just working on a better Nikita. Um, that's about it. And like I said, you guys will have more videos coming to you. Um, today I just went for a nice. Um, I don't want to say everyday look, but pretty much um, a look that you can wear every day or with anything. Um, I wanted to come back, you know, fairly basic and neutral. And then as my videos are uploaded, you'll see more dramatic looks, more colorful looks, etc., etc. Um, on my face, I have the new NARS All Day Luminous Wear. Something, the name will be down below in the description box. Um, everyone has been ranting and raving over it and I wanted to try it. So I got a little simple size that you will also see uh, in this video. And I'm loving it. I'm not a foundation girl. If you check out my other videos, you'll see that I always wear the MSF by MAC as my foundation. Because I feel like liquid foundation or crew foundation is too heavy and it makes my face look cakey. But in this case, it's making me look flawless so I'm happy about that and um yeah like I said everything will be down below in the description box or products that I've used uh I will sh be showing you guys everything that I'm using and yeah uh, also last but not least uh, if my closure is looking a little off it's because I did it myself this is my first time uh I learned how to do makeup by watching YouTube so I'm now learning how to do closure wigs um, from watching YouTube. So I'm going to just give it a try and I think I did really, really, really good. Uh, I used the concealer method to blend in my part with my natural part. And yeah, it's not 100% secured on my head, but you know, it's getting there. You know, as, as I play with it or as I make more wigs, you know, my skill will be a little bit better. So yeah, that's it guys. Uh, I will talk to you in another video. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, share on YouTube, share on, I mean, sorry, share on Facebook, share on Instagram, Twitter, wherever, whichever social network you use. Share it on there if you like it. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. It's just Keats. I'm back. I'm here to stay. I ain't going nowhere. Yeah. This is Okay, so first we're going to just prime the eyes using Urban Decay's Primer Potion. So I'm using this color here as my transition. It is a little too light for my transition color, but uh, you'll see how I'll make it work. Then next we're going in with this plum color here, and we're going to just go ahead and deepen the crease. Now using Foley by MAC, I'm going to go ahead and sweep that back and forth through my crease. I should have used that first, but like I said, I'm going to make it work. And now I'm using Sketch by MAC just to blend it all together and give it a, just a little bit more depth. Now I did uh, change my brush. I used the 217 blending brush because it's more tapered. I used that when I uh, defined my crease with Sketch. And now going back with the blending brush, I'm using Brown Script by MAC, blending out the edges of the transitional colors. And now going back with the 217 blending, blended, sorry, tapered brush, I'm using Shadowy Lady to uh, apply to my outer V, just to give it a tad a smoky effect. And then going ahead, with this color here, I uh, can't remember, the name will be down below in the description box. I'm going to place that all over my lid. I love this color. It's good for pretty much any complexion. You can dampen your brush or apply it dry. And yeah, going back with the Zoo 17 brush, I'm going to sweep back and forth to blend everything together. Now I am not the best at applying uh, eyeliner. 
um, the wing eyeliner uh, technique I haven't gotten that down but I will say this ink pen from Kat Von D is the best uh, everything that I use I have a hard time but using this product here I find it more easier to apply my eyeliner and now going in with Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. Uh, this primer is very expensive, but I hear a lot of people talking about it. So I got a sample size from Sephora. And uh, basically this is, this does pretty much the same thing that Milk of Magnesia does. And I will say after applying this and my foundation and everything else, uh, by the end of the night, I did find that it worked. Uh, the areas in which I applied it stayed matte. I didn't really crease and yeah So I think I'm gonna go ahead and make the big purchase or I may just get the uh, the $18 one, But who knows but I, I, I do like this product here. So yeah Now taking natural radiance a prep and prime primer from Mac I'm gonna apply that all over my face if you notice with the other primer I only applied it under my eyes my forehead and my chin and my nose uh, that is my t-zone area because I get really oily but for the Mac radiance primer I'm gonna apply that all over now taking NARS's creamy radiant concealer or radiant creamy concealer uh, in the color cafe I'm gonna go ahead and conceal my under eye area around my mouth and any imperfections that I may have uh, in other areas of my face. Now taking NARS's Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Amand, I'm going to begin highlighting. I don't like the dramatic highlight effect, so I'm not going to use a color that's like three shades lighter than my complexion because I, I like more of a natural look. Uh, when applying my highlight, because I have a round face, I don't want to apply the concealer on my cheekbone because that'll make my face appear bigger and I don't want to bring it too far back to my hairline because that'll make my face look bigger. So I want to keep the triangle shaped uh, uh, application of the concealer uh, very small so that my face can uh, have some dimension but not look too wide if you will I want to keep my face looking narrow and you'll see how I'll do that when I begin contour also don't forget to apply the highlighting concealer on your forehead uh, that's by preference some people have different size uh, forehead so that's uh, to each his own but I do want to apply that concealer to my forehead down the bridge of my nose and my chin and now on to foundation the NARS all day luminous weightless foundation my shade is New Orleans uh, I don't really like foundation oh uh, wait a minute what happened here I spilt it on my shirt can you believe it? Well, anyway, yeah, as I was saying, uh, I'm not a big fan of foundation, be it cream or or liquid, because I feel like my face uh, is pretty uh, okay. I don't really need a lot of coverage, and I do find that when I apply foundation, I can look a little cakey. So I stick with uh, MSF by MAC, those of you who know your MAC products. But I wanted to give this product a try because everyone has been talking about it and I love it. I really, really love it. Uh, the, 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 the product definitely lives up to the name uh, because it does give that luminous uh, look to it. Uh, it looks like skin. I don't look cakey. Uh, I, I, I mean, I really, just, I really love this foundation. I don't know. Uh, there's, I know there's a million videos here on YouTube uh, giving a review on this foundation, so you guys can check those out. But yeah, I am the shade in the shade New Orleans. And now I want to go ahead and set my under eye area, uh, all the areas in which I applied the concealer, 
of the highlighting concealer. I'm using bananas, but uh, Ben Nye bananas powder, and I'm gonna set the concealer to prevent creasing. Okay, now taking Too Faced eyeliner pencil, I will have the exact name down below. I'm going to apply that to my waterline. Uh, I don't really want to apply this with a heavy hand because I want my eyes to look open. Um, after applying that, I'm going to smudge it out just a tad using the Brown Script uh, eyeshadow from MAC. And now using my Holy Grail product, my favorite product of all time, the MAC MSF uh, Mineralized Skin Finish. I'm going to go ahead and set my entire face, even uh, the areas in which I applied the highlight. And then for contouring, I'm using Blunt Blush from MAC. I'm applying that to the hollows of my cheeks, bringing it back to my ear and my hairline, applying it around my temples. Now, of course, you guys know contouring. Uh, this method is used to uh, provide depth in the face and to make your face look more slim. Uh, I'm also using this down the sides of my nose to make my nose look slim. And then I'm taking uh, CoverGirl's Ebony Bronze Bronzer and applying that in the same areas just to uh, warm up my face a little bit more to give it a, a more bronze a look taking NARS blush in the color seduction I'm gonna apply that to my cheeks I really like this color it's a great uh, shade for women of color uh, it's like a plum rose uh, type of shade and it has some shimmer in it as well so it's really really pretty Now for the glow, you know we all live for a little glow to the cheekbones. Yes, this is Max Double Definition uh, Skin Finish. I'm applying that with a fan brush from Eco Tools, and you'll see how this uh, highlight just gives the face that extra oomph, that extra glow, uh, adding to what the foundation is already giving the face. And for lips, I'm lining my lips with Max uh, Chestnut Lip Pencil, and then I'm going to go ahead and take this lip cream. It is discontinued by Mac, but I will still leave the name down below. Uh, tap, 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 rub, rub, rub. And then for lip gloss, I'm using Max uh, Partial to Pink uh, on top, and I'm just going to blend that together. And I told you guys I got a new puppy. Meet my daughter, Navy. I love her so much. Uh, she's brought so much sunshine to my life, to my family's life. And I love her. Hi. On to hair. Uh, let's just say I'm so proud of myself because I not only made this wig, I installed this wig, and I colored this wig. Watch out now. <laughs> But I'm just going to go ahead and uh, blend in this uh, closure part with my natural part and begin using my 2 inch curling, uh, curling iron from Hot Tools and just put a few uh, loose curls just to give the hair some body. Okay guys, this is it. This is the completed look. I had a lot of fun recording this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If there's any specific looks you guys want to see, please comment down below. Any questions, comment down below. Um, please thumbs up, uh, comment, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed this. And I will see you guys next time. Deuces!